everyone, we're tap bottles together against plastic bottles. We are a group of grade 10 students from Carson Graham and we're really passionate about the environment and we're really looking to make a positive change in our world. Okay, so my name's Emily and here's Taylor, Veronica, Mariah, Sarah, Melissa, Sydney, Cheyenne, Aya, and Layton. And our mission is to eliminate plastic water bottles from our school and local community. So, as we're just a group of teenagers, we've always been told that we can make a positive change in our world. We've seen many different presentations and it always ends with, and you can make a change too. But we all knew that we wanted to do something to affect the world in some way, but we had no idea where to start. We doubted ourselves as we were just a group of grade 9 teenagers at the time, so we didn't know what we wanted to do. We first got into it through our counselor, Rob Olson, and he introduced us to Catherine Eagles, who was working with the Global Stewardship Program at Capilano University. They wanted us to go to Justice High, which is a series of symposiums for youth based on the UN Millennium Development Goals, and we wanted a project to present. And we learned about Jennifer Howe in Burnaby, who was doing a similar thing to what we are now. She eliminated plastic bottles from her school district. And she really inspired us, and we wanted to do something similar. So we didn't finish in time to present at Justice High, but we still wanted to continue. In 2011, we attended the Justice High symposiums. We saw many different presentations by some inspirational speakers, and we attended all the workshops about the UN Millennium Development Goals. We learned a lot about the UMMDGs, and we left the symposium feeling very inspired. We even saw a workshop about our cause, about the effects of water on the world, and we were really ready to take on our project after that. After Justice High, we were invited to Change Pallets, which is a three-day camp in Pemberton, also run by the Global Stewardship Program. We participated in workshops on leadership, starting initiatives, budgeting, networking, and more. After Change Pallets was a Dragon's Den style competition called the Eagle's Nest, and with that, we won a $1,000 grant, and we bought our first shipment of water bottles. So we did a presentation at our school after we got our grant, and we had to do tons of research in order to get the amount of information that we needed to make this presentation. We went through documentaries such as Tapped, and we looked at many different websites, etc. and eventually we put together a presentation that we were going to show the grade 8s and 9s at our school. We also filled up a showcase with all of the plastic water bottles that we found in the recycling bins at our school to show the effects that they were having in our school. We found that after the presentation there was many people who supported us very well, but then there was also a lot of people who doubted us and just said that we, could, we were just some teenagers, we couldn't make a difference. So this year we presented at three different elementary schools and we presented at Ross Road Elementary, Brooks Bank Elementary and Highlands Elementary. Uh, we were presenting about the dangers of plastic bottles to our health and the environment. These presentations meant a lot to us because not only were we raising awareness about our cause, but we were inspiring others to do the same. Um, at Highlands we did two presentations, one for the primary grades and one for the intermediate grades. It gave us the opportunity to educate a younger generation and we knew they really understood what we were talking about when kids began to ask why you would use plastic bottles when you could get the same thing out of a tap. Oh, that's okay. This year we also presented at two Justice High symposiums, one at Mulgrave and one at Carson Graham, our school. And we thought it was really cool how last year we were being at these symposiums learning about the UN Millennium, Millennium Goals, and this year we were being asked to present our cause. Humanity, Stri Humanity Strikes Back is a conference for youth to help them take action in their communities hosted by the Red Cross. This year, Sydney and I went to the 9th HSB. We learned about various issues and went to different workshops about event planning, using the media, 
which gave us the skills and confidence to continue planning our barbecue and raising awareness about our cause. We met many inspiring people who support us, and in turn, we are able to support them with their projects. We also had a stand set up at the Ridgeway Spring Fair. This is a community fair to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the school. We were able to talk to lots of different people and tell them about what we were trying to do and how they could help us, as well as sell our water bottles. So, just last Monday, we went to an awards night at North Van City Hall. We were awarded the Outstanding Team Award by Mary Musato. It was good to see a lot of other youth changing the world. There was a lot of other awards, like Random Act of Kindness, and they even gave out some scholarships. It was cool to be recognized by our community, and it was our first real recognition of what we've done so far. Top Bottles will be attending a few events in the next month. One we are especially excited for is called the Aware Affair. This fair is set up like a heritage fair with a bunch of organizations setting up booths displaying what they stand for. Its purpose is to raise awareness of a multitude of global issues. Top Bottles will be having their own booth at this fair. It will be joining other organizations such as Oxfam, Free the Children, Greenpeace, and hundreds of others, or not quite hundreds, but many. This will be happening at Low Heat Town Center on Saturday, May 19th from 3 to 6 p.m. It would be great if you could come. So, we are hosting our first ever event called the Barbecue Against Plastic Bottles. There will be a presentation by the TAP team and how we got started and the harmful effects on plastic water bottles. This will be a bottle-free afternoon with entertainment, food to purchase, and stands by other environmental organizations. It is at Ridgeway Elementary School on Sunday, May 27th from 1.30 to 4 p.m. We will be selling our reusable water bottles. Future plans. Tap bottles will be implementing Tap Club at our school, Carson Graham Secondary, this upcoming school year uh, starting this fall 2012. This will allow us to expand our group and welcome new members into our community. This will ho we hope that this will become an important base to communicate ideas which will further our initiatives. It is crucial that we recruit younger youth in our school in order to ensure that tap bottles will continue at our school for years to come. We have a petition that we bring to various events and presentations. Um, it is trying to get rid of the contracts between uh, the plastic bottle companies that have, they're selling their product in our vending machines at school. We currently have 127 signatures and if you would like to sign it, please come and see us. We will be giving a presentation to the North Vancouver School District 44 to further promote the ban of plastic water bottles within our school cafeterias and the vending machines. This includes a proposal of rethinking certain existing contracts. The more we reinforce the message to the community, the more effective action will be taken place in our education system. One of the first ideas generated by tap bottles was to put in a water bottle refill station at Confederation Field. A water bottle refill station is an area where you can fill up your reusable water bottle. Confederation Field hosts a variety of sports year-round, but unfortunately there's a large amount of plastic bottle usage in the area, so if we put in a refill station, the health of the environment and the people around it will be a lot better. So we have three main steps that we have found very successful. The first step is to raise awareness. Um, you can do that by getting involved with social media, so make a Facebook page, make a Twitter. Um, talk to your friends and family about your cause and why it's important to you. And make a presentation, like we've done right now. Also, hold an event like a barbecue or a fundraiser to help raise more awareness. Our second step is to provide an alternative. We sell our reusable water bottles as an alternative to the plastic, and we are also campaigning to get the water bottle refill station, which will 
let people reuse their bottles even more. And the third step in our three step to success system is to actually eliminate the plastic bottles entirely. Now, this is a step that we have not yet achieved actually, but we are working towards it um, in ways like our petition, we are hoping to get rid of the contracts. Also, we have, we'd like to talk to the companies that are putting the bottles into the vending machines and also by putting a presentation on for the school board. We need to get around all these contracts in order to get them out of the school uh, entirely, which is ideally our main goal. We have succeeded in getting two water bottle refill stations into our school, Carson Graham, next year, which is a great success for us. Being a part of Together Against Plastic Bottles has been a great learning experience for each one of us. Some of the main things we have learned are these four you see on the screen. One of them is to think of things on a global scale, but make change locally. Not everyone can save the world by themselves, but we can all try. Doing small things will make a change. Don't spread yourself too thin. Although it's great to think of global issues, you can't take everything on at once. This is something Tap Bottles has found. Really, doing small things really makes a difference. Politely get in people's faces. So repeat yourself. Make sure they know what you're talking about. You say things once, they might not remember it. We like to put up posters after events Make sure we really get our point across. And yeah, just make sure you show you have a clear mission statement and work as a team. Each one of us are really good friends and it has really helped us. Have good relationships with your contacts and everyone you're working with. It'll help you be more efficient and just make the group more better for everybody. How you can help us. Stop drinking bottled water. Plastic, bottled water has a, is plastic, and plastic contains a chemical called BPA, which it stands for bisphenol A. Bisphenol A has been, none, been known to lead to many health risks. Drink from your own reusable BPA-free water bottle. I know that most people have a reusable water bottle in their house, and it's really easy to just bring it along with you and fill it up in any taps or water fountains. Or you can buy a tap bottle's reusable water bottle. They're stainless steel water bottles, and they're $10 each. Um, all proceeds go towards the water bottle refilling station in our community, like we were talking about. You can also help us by spreading the word. We, will not, we wouldn't have been where we are today without networking. And with your word of mouth, we can bring the pro problem of plastic bottles to the forefront. So here's a quote. Not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it's faced. James Baldwin. So you can keep in touch with us. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or Tumblr. You can email us at tapbottles at gmail.com. We have a website, which is wix.com slash tapbottles slash tapbottles. You can talk to us after the presentation. And we also have magnets and business cards to hand out if you want one. <laughs>